Over the years, Singapore's Stanford Bar design has played an important role in the local medtech ecosystem by nurturing and training the next generation of medical innovators for Singapore and Asia, anchored on biodesign methodology. Locally, SSB has served as a focal point to bring together a multidisciplinary network of clinicians, engineers, and industrial partners. This is through its outreach and initiatives such as the corporate membership, fellowship, and innovation class. There have been over 500 trainees coming from the Singapore Biodesign Program, 28 fellows, over 200 uh, students, and a number of people from the industry and, and the local med tech scene. So that's the most important legacy. Uh, when we look back uh, 10 years from now at what Singapore Biodesign has accomplished, it's going to be this talent pool, this next generation of entrepreneurs who are going to lead health technology innovation in Southeast Asia. The needs based approach led us to see end stage renal disease, one of the most expensive chronic disease to treat today, being the space that's crying out most for innovations that takes costs out of the system and the treatment procedure. Uh, within the space, the biodesign process uh, uh, was really uh, further used to guide us to identify that uh, vascular access uh, is uh, the strategic problem uh, that is best uh, tackled first in order to unlock how this whole treatment paradigm needs to progress. I thought that um, hackathons is one way to actually bring multidisciplinary teams together within healthcare. It was pretty good. Uh, we had like 60 people attending it and then um, the projects are still ongoing as of now. So it's kind of like a fast way to find solutions. So in our daily work at Zikon MedTech, we need to be able to at the get-go, suss out which medtech startups are worth taking a closer look at and worth investing. So using the biodesign process as a framework, we are able to very consistently and diligently evaluate each medtech startup that comes our way. We do this in order to identify the true potential of each startup in the future. The SSB Innovation Class Program provides a foundational overview of the medtech innovation process from a needs-based perspective, which is different from a typical academic module. The whole entire biodesign process tells you very clearly that what you need to do in order to develop the product itself. And that gives the benefits because NHIC is not just a gap funding agency or it's not just a funding agency itself. Once we fund the project, we still need to actually provide a lot of guidance to make sure that the project gets successful outcome. And with the knowledge of biodesign process, this has helped us a lot when we actually provide that kind of guidance over to the project team members. Even in advance recent business move in acquiring our US competitor and predicate device, uh, the biodesign process was relevant and in fact used to guide us in this decision making. Uh, particularly in uh, how the combined product portfolio can address unmet needs uh, holistically and how the business development strategy can have synergy with a multi-product approach. SSB uh, played a very important role in terms of its network. Um, I think when I think about all the important connections that we've made over the years that helped us with fundraising, that's helped us with our regulatory work, somehow, one way or another, they, these are networks that we've built through the Biodesign Network, through the SSB Network. These are people that we met through SSB. Outside of Singapore, we continue to extend our outreach into regional countries and have over 10 immersion and academic partners in the regions such as Indonesia, China, Korea and Malaysia. These outreach provides the platform for the program to bring Biodesign know-how to our partners as to enable greater synergistic collaboration towards a better understanding of the region's needs to develop country-specific products. As Singapore Stanford Biodesign evolves to Singapore Biodesign, there will be a larger emphasis on Asia as the program looks to build upon the strong Asian partnership networks 
to better uncover needs across the innovation value chain. This will provide a more agent-centric curriculum to plug the implementation gaps and accelerate projects towards commercialization.